Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another Ipsy vs. BoxyCharm, but this month we are also including the Icon Box. So if you guys want to go ahead and see what I got in all three subscriptions, just go ahead and keep watching. So this month's theme for Ipsy is Let Yourself Bloom. This month, we're also celebrating the mothers and mother figures in our lives and reminding you why self-care is essential and never ever selfish. Now, first starting off, we're going to go ahead and dig into the Ipsy Glam Bag. Now, this is what the Glam Bag looks like. I'm absolutely obsessed with this print. It looks very summery and tropical. I also really like this little hot pink part here and it says Ipsy as well. First item is this First Aid Beauty Eye Cream. I'm super excited for this product. I'm obsessed with any and all eye creams. I've always wanted to try First Aid Beauty's products, but just haven't gotten the chance. So I'm really excited for this one. Next item is this Kors Greek Yogurt Facial Cleanser. Last month we did get two facial cleansers, and so this will be the third in two months. And I just don't think I'm going through facial cleansers that fast. But this still is a super cool product. Next item is this cream blush by Ciate London. And this is their Velvet Skin Cream Blush, and it's in the shade Sassy. Go ahead and put some on the back of my hand here. Ooh, that looks so pretty already. Now let's just blend it in a little bit with the brush. I think this is a very pretty blush. It's kind of like almost warm and bronzy, and it's super cute, but you can still get that pinkish look to it. I honestly feel like it's just kind of a cream version of the blush I'm wearing today which this is one of my favorite blushes to wear anyway, so it's super cool to have a cream version as well. Now, next item, I do already have this product, but it is this Kismet lip gloss in the shade Baby. Now, I'll go ahead and swatch mine for you guys, so that way you guys can still see what it looks like. It's a super pretty pink lip gloss. Now, it looks super glossy, but it doesn't feel super glossy or sticky. The pigmentation is just crazy beautiful. But since I already have this exact product, I do think I'm just going to save this one to gift away. Now, next item by the Beauty Crop is this Brow Friends Forever. Now, this is their brow gel, and it has castor oil and vitamin E. Now, since it has castor oil in it, if you need help with growing your brow hairs, this would be a great product for you. I'm absolutely obsessed with brow gels, so I'm super, super excited to try this product. Now that's it for this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. Once again, the Ipsy Glam Bag is only $13 a month in case you guys would like to subscribe to this one. Next, we're moving on to the Ipsy BoxyCharm box. First item from Style Dry is this Pineapple and Coconut Prep and Primer. Now it smells really, really strong of pineapple and coconut and I'm so obsessed. I really, really love the scent. This scent reminds me of like a tanning lotion and I love to tan. I love to be in the sun. I love summer, so this is definitely a hit for me. Next from the brand Beauty Stat is their Universal C Skin Refiner. Now it's supposed to brighten and retexturize and firm your skin. And that it's also made for all skin types, which is super, super cool. Next item is from Treloose Beauty. It is their Playa Dreams Dual Highlighter. Now it does come with the cream and a powder highlighter. The shade is so beautiful. It's almost like a champagne color. I also think it's super, super cool that for her cream highlighter, it has this little cap here. It is actually very great quality as well. I've never seen anything like this, and I think it was just so, so smart for her to do. So that way your powder doesn't get mixed in with your cream and make it all like weird, you know? But her packaging is definitely super high quality, and I would just love these shades here. I can't wait to try this. Next item from Lovecraft Beauty is their Duo Tip Eyeliner Pen. Now, this one is in the shade Dark Dimension. Now, it comes with a thinner felt tip as well as a thicker felt tip. Now, I was super excited to see these packages when they very first got here. So, I did see and open everything prior to making this video. And when I was opening this to look at it, I accidentally marked my hand a little bit and it dried up super, super fast and was not smearing or getting anywhere smudging at all. So I do think this product is super, super good and I can't wait to create a wing with it. Last but not least is this eyeshadow palette from Iconic London. Now this is their Beachside Babe eyeshadow palette. I'm really obsessed with all of these shades here. Definitely these greens caught my eye and these yellow shimmers as well, very beautiful. I have tried Iconic London's products before and they are always very pigmented. So I'm super, super excited to create some beautiful looks with this palette here. 
Now for my BoxyCharm box this month, I am going to have to rate it a 10 out of 10. I'm absolutely obsessed with every single one of these products. Everything in here is perfect for a beautiful summer face. Again, the Ipsy BoxyCharm boxes are only $28 a month, so I definitely feel like you would get your money's worth with this one. Now, the BoxyCharm box was so good. I really thought it was the Icon box when opening it before I opened the actual Icon box, which if you don't know what the Icon box is, so instead of the BoxyCharm Lux, you will be receiving the Icon box now. Now, the Icon box is every quarter and it would be $58. Now for this one, I did write down the prices for each product. Now if you guys like that, I can do them for the Ipsy Glam Bag and BoxyCharm box as well. Just go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the very first ever Icon box. Now opening it up, this is what we see. Now first item by Skin Ink Supplement Bar. This is their Body Sculpt Fit Serum. Now this product retails for $32.50. Now this product is meant for all over your body. It does come in this serum-y texture. Now since it's a serum, it does feel super lightweight and not thick like a moisturizer does. It doesn't really have a scent to it, so if scents bother you, this would be a good product for you. I feel like it definitely gives your skin a nice glow to it. And y'all, I'm about to pop a baby out soon, so I'm super, super excited for this product. Next item by JLo Beauty is that Blockbuster. Now, I will have to say this is the most luxurious looking and feeling facial cream I've ever had in my whole entire life so far. <laughs> super, super obsessed with the packaging. It is just so, so beautiful. And this is what the cream looks like. Now, I was super excited for this product, so I did go ahead and try it out already today. And the facial cream is super thick and just feels very luxurious. It also doesn't have a scent to it, so once again, if scents bother you, this product is definitely good for you. Now, this product retails for $59, so just within this one product itself, you already got your money's worth from the $58 you paid for for this box. Next product is this MAC Magic Extension Mascara. I think the packaging looks super, super cool and pretty. To me, at least, it looks a little bit more expensive. This product does retail for $26, but the look of it just looks very expensive to me. Now, this is what the mascara brush looks like. I feel like this wand would be absolutely perfect for your lower lashes. I've never tried any of MAC's mascaras or eye products, so I'm super excited to try this out. Next product is from the brand Alamar, and it is this brush trio. Now, in this brush trio, you do get a lining brush, a blending brush, and a packing brush. Now, what I love, and I feel like more brands should do this, is that they listed what brush is what on the back. I feel like this is absolutely perfect for beginners, especially if you're learning how to do your makeup on like YouTube or online at all, or if you don't really know what brush is what, this is definitely for you. Now, next few items are from the brand Anastasia Beverly Heels. First item is this cream bronzer, and it is in the shade Caramel. I feel like they are a very versatile product. You can contour your face with them, or you can do what I like to do, and I like to use them as lip liner. You can even use them as shadow if you want to go a little bit more natural just to give some definition into that crease. I absolutely love the packaging. It just looks very, very expensive and luxurious to me. I really like how she added with her logo here. It's not just a printed one. It pops out. And this product retails for $35. Next item is this lipstick. And it is in the shade Warm Peach. Nude lips are my go-to. They are perfect for every day and to me they just look so beautiful. This product also kind of smells like chocolate too. Again, the packaging you guys just looks so expensive. It feels super great quality. This product retails for $23. Personally, I don't think that's that bad. Especially for Anastasia, other than brows, I feel like she's really known for her lip products. We got the Anastasia Prim Rose Eyeshadow Palette. The packaging, once again, feels amazing. Super heavy duty, just super high quality. Now, one of my shades did get a little, little crushed, but nothing too bad. Still super beautiful. Now, one of my shades did get a little crushed, which is completely fine, I understand. This palette has a lot of beautiful warm tones and some berry shades as well. I really love that it has plenty of mattes and shimmers. It also comes with a blush and bronzer shade, so this palette is perfect to take with you on the go. Now, this is super nostalgic to me because when I very first started getting into makeup during high school, 
other than the Naked palettes from Urban Decay, Anastasia Beverly Hills was my go-to. And now being able to be gifted Anastasia products is super, super cool. And this palette retails for $55. Now, last but not least is this super cool gadget product. Now, it's from the brand Redo Boost. Now, basically, it has a Bluetooth button here and it lights up. You can change what level you want it on. But it is like a massager for your face and it has an app where you place what skincare products you use. I did try this product out today as well because I was super interested to see what it was. It felt very, very good on the skin. It was a nice little massage. Definitely recommend you try it out. It's a super luxurious product. And this product does retail for $125. It comes with a charger and a little travel bag as well. For my icon box, I'm definitely going to have to rate it like... 15 out of 10. I really enjoyed all of these products. A lot of the things that were in this box are things that I wouldn't necessarily go and buy myself. So it's super, super cool to be able to be gifted them or to just be able to receive them in my icon box. Now, once again, for the icon box, it is $58 a quarter. You will receive items worth up to $350. Now, my box this month was worth $431.50. So, definitely exceeded their estimate amount. And you will be receiving eight products. Now, for their first time coming up with their icon box, I definitely think they did an amazing job. Just opening the box at first glance, I could tell everything looked very luxurious and expensive. So, if you guys would like to get your hands on any three of these subscriptions, my link will be down below in the description box. If you guys like these videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And until next time.